Hey everybody, uh, I just realized I haven't uploaded the video for uh, Lady K Kowloon? Kowloon? Um, this is the name of a region in China, uh, Kulon in Japanese, I guess. Nine dragons. Um, but uh, this is another one of those quests where uh, no block actually might come in handy because uh, uh, this quest is going to be a little bit difficult to maneuver, maneuver around with if you don't have uh, no block. Uh, you need to kill all of those uh, uh, Puyo Puyo blobs in one shot. Uh, otherwise, each one will revive two others. So uh, it's a bit of a pain uh, if you can't clear them all in one shot. And if you have no block, that's an easy thing. If you don't, uh, you're going to have to get a little more tricky. So that's why I'm bringing Pandora here because my party, the only uh, one that has no block, is going to be that uh, collab character whose name I can't remember. Uh, I'll look it up while I'm talking, but I also brought along Hideyoshi Toyotomi and uh, uh, Olive uh, from my uh, from my box. Um, Pandora is here. Her bum come is going to help for sure. Uh, here you go. See, I mean, if you have no block, that's an easy shot. If you don't, you're going to have to get a little tricky. Bounce off the bottom wall, bounce off the vertical blocks, and then bounce off the right wall, and then hope that the angles are in your favor so that it was able to kill them all. But, uh, yeah, this is a particularly annoying uh, <laughs> quest for sure. Uh, taking advantage of a little bit, I guess not a true uh, loop hit, but uh, being able to swish around the weak point wall and the blocks is a good way to deal a lot of damage for sure and unfortunately uh let's see our collab character here let's see if i can find his name uh itsuki yes itsuki that's the name um yeah having that no block really nice a right, little bonus time here we got some turtles uh, if you want to stall for strike shots, that's also an option, but you can also test our uh, single line shot kill uh, skills there. And actually, Toyotomi's set up in a perfect position to kill those uh, uh, Puyo Puyo blobs in one shot, but um, uh, you do want to take them out bit by bit. Like I said, they will revive two others. Um, Let's see. Yes, perfect. So, even though Toyotomi was in a good position since uh, Itsuki had his chance, darn right we're going to take that, take advantage of that. And... I mean, now we just need to... Basically, if you can clear out the little Puyo blocks after that, it's just not so bad. Um, yeah, Pandora. Okay, maybe that's not doing as much as I would have liked. Uh, but the boss is annoying as you see. You have to deal with poison, you have to deal with sleeping meteors. Um, and the meteor, or sorry, the poison actually does a decent amount of damage. As you can see, 6,000 damage per turn. So uh, if you get unlucky and get multiple people poisoned, um, yeah, just make sure to check up on your health as you continue this stage all right so we've got 22 turns for the speed clear and here i mean here's the classic this is why it's really tough if you don't have no block um getting in between those blocks and killing all seven at the same time is not an easy task and so we left three so they're gonna revive six in total since there's only four that's all of them back. Uh, Olive, we're going to try to do the same thing. Unfortunately, same result. Uh, never fear. It's Itsuki's here. There we go. And now we can just take care of business here. Unfortunately, Pandora got hit by that sleep meteor, so she loses her turn. Uh, but now that she's awake... 
Yep. Take advantage of that bump combo as much as possible. Um, and one thing to make sure you're always aware of is uh, the placement of those blocks. Um, sometimes it they can be under the boss. Like it's not the case here, but uh, always take an extra step of precaution when dealing with with blocks because they can definitely cause your characters to go in unintended ways and you'll just realize oh, how stupid I was for doing that. But it happens, so please be careful. Alright, we got one turn before she goes crazy, but uh, we're not going to let her do that. That was actually really close, but uh, <laughs> glad to see it not happening. And this should be able to clear it off. Unfortunately, it would have been nice to start off with Itsuki because that means we get that first shot at getting rid of all of those Puyo blobs, but... Um, and even worse, we're starting with Pandora at that position. Um, she Her strike shot, she splits into five and goes crazy, but I probably don't want to waste it here, so... Um, yeah, that's unfortunate. There's not much she could have done there, to be honest. And, I mean, that... Like, if, if we were unlucky with positioning, that could have done a lot more damage. And, uh, Chidi, uh, Toyotomi Hideyoshi's strike shot is pretty cool. It's, uh, kind of like, what, Kushi Zero, I think? So everybody he hits, a plasma beam will come out of them. And he'll just go crazy. And so the important thing here is, uh, even though I wasn't able to activate, uh, Itsuki's strike shot, the important thing was making sure that he wakes up. Because if he doesn't get hit by either me or the enemy, which he didn't get hit by the enemy, uh, he would have fallen asleep and we would have lost our turn and probably died because of all of those laser hits. Um, so, good job past me for picking the right move there. And Pandora got a nice pinch in between the block and uh, Kulon's head. Kowloon? Kulon? Um, so that price saved us uh, a lot of damage and grief from that stage. Alright, so this last stage, now the positioning of these uh, Puyo blobs are probably even difficult even if you have uh, no block. So uh, ideally you want to take out at least uh, three or four at a time so that they're much more manageable. Um, Otherwise, uh, you're just going to be overwhelmed by the laser attacks and uh, not good. Uh, Itsuki got close. We were able to take out everybody but one. But now this is our chance to... Well, no. Since Pandora's up. That's uh, unfortunate timing. Since Pandora's a bounce type, she's not going to be able to take these guys out. So... Three turns into six. And hopefully we can will it down again. Yep. And you know, if you're down to one, you're going to only have to deal with three the next time. And Olive is in a great position. And there you go. The nightmare is over. And it's really easy to get overwhelmed, especially when you have to deal with those uh, sleeping meteors. If you get unlucky, you could lose a turn. And please ignore that. I totally didn't read his strike shot c correctly, so I fluffed his strike shot, completely wasted it. Um, uh, yeah. But now, really, uh, we have one turn before Lady Kowloon goes crazy. Uh, we'll see what happens here. Able to get the heart. And actually that wasn't too bad. And maybe in part due to uh, Hideyoshi's uh, laser stop that it was able to uh, prevent other people from getting hit too badly. So consider me lucky there. I feel like, yeah. And Pandora actually gets a turn to use her strike shot. And there you go. 
one of the reasons why Pandora is such a lovable and awesome character to have. Hopefully I'll get her sometime. There you go. And that is Lady Kowloon. Um, it's a tough quest. I don't know if I want to do this again until I get a good no block wood character. Uh, actually, no block wood pierce. That's a lot of requirements to have. Uh, but, yeah, there you go. And I think that's it for all of the events. Uh, we have the Full Metal Alchemist collab coming at the end of the week, so that should be fun to start off. And until then, bye bye.